Hello, Junk Wax Investor Community. We'll be looking at the top 15 Junk Wax era hockey cards that sold on eBay in the last two weeks. In addition to the list, we also have a pretty awesome set of bonus listings at the end as well, so make sure you stay tuned for those. Let's not waste any time and get right into the good stuff. All right, forget what the intro is. We're doing top 25 from now on because more cards are always better. Starting us off in the 25th spot from 1995 Fleer Ultra. We have the Sean Burke Premier Padman Gold Medallion in raw condition, sold auction for $116.50. The Premier Padman inserts are inserted into Series 1 packs at a rate of 1 in 36 packs. The Gold Medallion parallels are 1 in 360 packs. There have been none of these graded with PSA and boxes of 95 Ultra Series 1 sell for around $175 to $330. In the 24th spot from 1990 Upper Deck French, we have the Pavel Bure Rookie Card graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $123.50. In the gem mint slab, it's a pop of 202 and the Young Guns Rookie Card can be found in High Series boxes. And those boxes of 1990 Upper Deck French High Series sell for around $50 to $70. In the 23rd spot from 1994 Pinnacle, we have the Sylvain Turgeon card with a young Patrick Kane sitting in the background in the front row, graded in mint PSA 9. That was a best offer sale for $124.31. That's a pop of 38 in a mint slab. And there are 17 higher graded gem in tens. There's also a rink collection parallel of this one. These can be found in series two boxes of 94 Pinnacle, and those have recently sold for around $120 to $150. In the 22nd spot from 1993 Tops Premier, we have the Wayne Gresky Black Gold Insert graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $127.65. In a gem mint slab, it's a pop of only 46. The black gold inserts were 24 card insert sets split into two series. This one here, the Gresky is in series one and they were inserted one in 72 packs or one in 18 jumbo packs. Boxes of 1993 Tops Premier sell for around $20 to $35. In the 21st spot from 1991 Upper Deck French, we have a Pavel Bure second year card graded gem in PSA 10. We already saw his rookie card earlier. That was a fixed price sale for $131.51. Outsold his rookie card, but it's a low pop of only 15. This card can be found in low series boxes of 91 Upper Deck French, and those have recently sold for around $25 to $35. In the number 20 spot, we're going to stick with 1991 Upper Deck French. This time for the Dominic Hasek rookie card graded gem in PSA 10. That was a best offer sale for $146.78. In a gem mint slab, it's a pop of 257. Hasek is in low series boxes as well. And this exact copy of this card sold for $188 back in January of 2022. So down a bit since last year. And those boxes of 91 Upper Deck French Low Series sell for around $25 to $35. And the 19th spot from 1994 Parkhurst Missing Link. We have the Gordie Howe Autograph Card numbered in 956 in raw condition. That was a fixed price sale for $149. There's only been 10 copies of these graded with PSA. The highest are two mint nines and three gem mint tens. Autographs were inserted into packs at a rate of one in 262 packs. And boxes of 94 Parker's Missing Link have sold for around $30 to $50. In the 18th spot from 1990 score Canadian, we have Martin Brodeur's rookie card graded gem mint PSA 10. That was a fixed price sale for $149.95. In a gem mint slab, it's a pop of 767 And boxes of 1990 score Canadian sell for 10 to 20 bucks. 
In the 17th spot from 1995 tops, we have the Patrick Waugh of Mystery Finest Refractor. Graded in near mint mint PSA 8. That was a fixed price sale for $149.99. It's a pop of 2 in a PSA 8 slab. There's one higher graded gem mint 10. And that's it. So the Mystery Finest were inserted into Series 2 packs. A rate of 1 in 36 packs. And the Refractor Parallels were inserted 1 in 216 packs. Boxes of 95 top Series 2 sell for around $100 to $140. Moving on, we have a tie for the 15th spot. First up from 1987 Opeachy Minis, we have Wayne Gretzky graded Gem Mint PSA 10. That was a fixed price sale for $175. In a Gem Mint slab, the great one is a pop of only 73. And boxes of 87 Opeachy Minis sell for around 75 to 100 bucks. Also in that 15th spot from 1993 score, we have the Wayne Gretzky franchise insert graded gem in PSA 10. That was a best offer sale for $175. In a gem in slab, it's a super low pop of only seven. The franchise inserts were inserted into series one packs at a rate of one in 24 packs. And boxes of 1993 score series one sell for around 15 to $35. That's a new one to our list, so I've added that to our growing collection of eBay affiliate links that we have in the description box below. If you're interested in to look at any of these sets or boxes further, check out the description and click on any of those links and it'll take you directly to eBay search results for those particular sets. Alright, check those out. In the 14th spot from 1994 Donruss, we have the Wayne Gretzky Elite Inserts. These are serial number to 10,000 graded gem in PSA 10. Sold at auction for $177.50. It's a gem mint 10 pop of only 33. The Elite Inserts were numbered to 10,000 as mentioned. And they were inserted one in 72 packs. Boxes of 94 Donruss sell for around $20 to $35. In the 13th spot from 1989 Opeachy, we have a Brian Leach rookie card graded gem in PSA 10. That was a fixed price sale for $199.99. In a gem in slab, it's a pop of 152 and boxes of 89 Opeachy sell for $100 to $135. In the number 12 spot from 1990 Opeachy Premier, we have the Armour Yager Rookie Card, graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $209.50. In the gem mint slab, it's a pop of $3,408. And boxes of 90 Opeachy Premier sell for around $180 to $250. In the 11th spot from 1990 Upper Deck French, we have another Yarmory Auger rookie card. This one also graded gem in PSA 10 and sold at auction for $217. Much lower pop than the Opeachy Premier version. This one here is a pop of only $263. The uh, Yager rookie card can be found in low series boxes of 90 Upper Deck French. And those have recently sold for around $40 to $50. Bucks, so the boxes are a lot cheaper than the Opeachy Premier boxes by a um, factor of four or five. In the number 10 spot from 1991 Upper Deck, we have the Brett Hall Heroes Autograph card, number to 2500, graded mint BGS 9, with an eight grade for the auto. That was a fixed price sale for $230. It's a pop of eight in a mint slab. There are eight higher graded gem mint 9.5s. Subgrades were 9.5 for edges, 9 for centering and corners, and 8.5 for surface. The Brett Hall's Heroes can be chased in low series boxes of 1991 Upper Deck, and those boxes recently sold for around $20 to $35. In the number 9 spot from 1989 Opeachy, we have Wayne Gretzky graded Gem in PSA 10. That was a fixed price sale for $232.99. In a gem mint slab, it's a pop of only 155, and boxes of 89 Opeachy sell for around 100 to $135. In the 
In the number 8 spot from 1992 score Canadian, we have the Maurice the Rocket Richard Stanley Cup Hero Insert. This is autographed and numbered to 1250 in raw condition. That was a best offer sale for $238.52. There's only been two copies of this graded with PSA, and they're both near mint mint eights. These were inserted into score Canadian packs. There's two different autograph cards. The Rocket number to 1250, and this one here, the Stanley Cup Hero number to 1250 as well. Boxes of 92 score Canadian sell for around $25 to $40. In the number seven spot from 1989 Tops, we have the Tops version of the Wayne Gretzky base card graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $261.99. It's a gem in 10 pop of only 40. And if you remember the 89 Opeachy version is pop of 155, so definitely a big difference there. Boxes of 1989 Tops sell for around $70 to $95. In the number six spot from 1989 Opeachy, we have Joe Sackick's rookie card graded Gem Mint SGC 10. Old holder here and sold at auction for $262.07. It's a Gem Mint 10 Tuxedo Slab pop of only nine, and there are no higher gold labels. Um, just for comparisons, the Gem Mint PSA 10 pop is 290. Boxes of 89 Opeachy sell for around $100 to $135. In the fifth spot, we're going to stick with 89 Opeachy, this time for the Mario Lemieux graded gem in PSA 10. This car sold at auction for $265. In a gem in slab, it's a pop of only 70. And I've mentioned a few times already a couple of these 89 Opeachies that those boxes sell for around 100 to 135 bucks. Similar to the Gretzky, the Tops version is lower pop though. If you want to take your chances of pulling a gem in copy, those boxes are cheaper as well. In the fourth spot from 1995 Tops Finest, we have the Wayne Gretzky Gold Rare Refractor graded in Mint SGC 9, sold at auction for $287. In a Mint Tuxedo Slab, it's a pop of 3 and there's none graded higher. Over at PSA, there's 18 Mint 9s and only 7 Gem Mint 10s, so it's still pretty low pop. The... Those were the pops for no coating. The gold refractors were inserted at a rate of one in 288 packs, and it believes that, uh, or it's believed that they were limited to only 150 produced. Boxes of 95 finest sell for 140 up to $200 or more. All right, time to see if we have in the top three. But before we do, just a quick reminder: if you need any hobby supplies, check out BCW Supplies. There's a link in the description box below. Use the code Junkwax10 and save 10% on your order. All right, in the third spot from 1994 Tops Finest, we have the Wayne Gretzky Refractor, graded in Near Mint Mint Plus BGS 8.5, and is sold at auction for $330. It's a pop of six in an 8.5 slab. There's six graded higher, with the highest being two BGS 9.5s. Subgrades were 9.5s for centering corners and edges, and a 7.5 for surface. Ouch. However, this still has the coating on it, so I think you should uh, crack that slab, remove the coating, and send it over and get it regraded. Maybe send it to PSA. Highest PSA with coating are 12 mint 9s and 5 gem mint 10s. However, these were all gem mint subgrades except for that surface one, so you pull that coating off and hopefully it would grade higher. Um, highest without coating is 13 mint 9s and only 6 gem mint 10s, and they sell for a lot more than this one sold for. Refractors were inserted one in 12 packs of 94 finest, and those boxes sell for 90 to 130 bucks. In the number two spot from 1990 Pro Set, we have the Stanley Cup Hologram Chase Card, number to 5,000. In raw condition, sold at auction for $529 and one penny. The Stanley Cup Holo can be chased in series one boxes of 1990 Pro Set. No idea on how these were inserted or the rates they were inserted. However, speculation on the football of Lombardi hollow is that it was said to be seated one in every 10 cases. So it could be similar for the hockey one. Boxes of 1990 Pro Set sell for around 10 to 20 bucks. 
And top of the list in the number one spot from 1995, Pinnacle Zenith. We have the Wayne Gretzky Z Team, graded gem in PSA 10. This car sold at auction for $910. Wow, that is a pop of only 10 in a gem mint slab. The Z Team inserts were inserted into packs at a rate of 1 in 72 packs, and production is believed to be only 400 cards. Boxes of 95 Zenith sell for $110 to $130. All right, that's it for the top 25. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the new format. I think I like it, so I'm going to keep it. So hopefully you agree. Let me know in the comments below. Also, what your favorite cards were. Um, also, take a quick second to hit that like button. Then we'll get into our Junk Wax Investor Index and then hit up some awesome bonus cards that I have for you. All right, this week, the Junk Wax Hockey Index continued to tumble. We're down to 67. Ouch. S&P 500 was up to 84.1. NASDAQ was also up quite a bit, 84.1. They are even now, and Bitcoin was up too, 64.5. Hockey is not looking very good. Hopefully, they pull that around. The Junk Wax Hockey Index made up of 33 cards. Here's a list of those cards from 1988 all the way up to 1995. It's a pretty awesome list. Hopefully, we see some of these cards increase in value here. Pull that index up. Let's see how the Junk Wax Hockey Index stacks up to the other three major sports indexes that we track. The Football Index took the top spot back again from baseball, 91.7, up, up above 90 again. That's good. Uh, baseball dipped below 90. It's at 89.3, but still pretty strong. And then you see there, hockey is approaching the lows down there with basketball. That's not good to see. I compile all the data for these indexes using the collections features in the Market Movers X app. It allows you to insert uh, or input cards from your collection and it tracks all the values automatically for you with a lot of awesome metrics. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description below. Use the code JWI and you get the first month of your subscription for only a buck. All right, let's get in some bonus cards. First up, from 1990 Panini Stickers, we have a Jeremy Roenick Rookie Sticker Grade in Mint PSA 9. That was a fixed price sale for $69.99. That's a pop of only two in a mint slab, and there's none graded higher. These boxes of 1990 Panini Stickers are super cheap, sell for around $10, $15 or so. Um, I've added a link to these in the description below as well. There's a few, uh, there's quite a few actually rookie stickers. In the set, you got this Jeremy Roenick, you got Mike Madonna, a bunch of others, so check that out if you want. They're all super low pops. They don't sell for as much money as the Opeachy cards, obviously. However, super low pops, maybe that changes. I mean, pop of only two in a mint slab and no gem mint copies. Maybe a gem mint copy of one of these stickers would sell quite well. From 1997, Pacific Revolution, we have a Wayne Gretzky All-Star Die Cut Grade in Mint PSA 9. That was a best offer sale for $90. Pretty awesome looking die cut uh, Gretzky card here. It's a pop of 1 in a mint slab. There's only one higher graded gem in 10, so super low pop. This exact copy of this card sold for $33 in October of 2020. The All-Star Die Cuts are inserted at a rate of 1 in 49 packs. From 1991, we have a 91 Tops Bowman preview sheet with Steve Eiserman and Brett Hall, graded gem in PSA 10. That was a fixed price sale for $149.99. This preview sheet in a gem mint slab is a pop of only two. From 1995 Pinnacle Summit, we have the Yamri Yager Artist Proof Parallel in raw condition. Sold at auction for $82. It's a pretty awesome card. None of these have been graded with PSA, so if you sent it in, you would have the PSA Pop 1. The artist proofs were a gold prism foil background parallel, and they were inserted 1 in 36 packs. From 1992 Upper Deck, we have the Wayne Gretzky Gordy House Selects, graded gem in PSA 10. And this card sold at auction for $70. In a gem mint slab, it's a low pop of only 6. I love these low pop Gretzky inserts. The Gordy House Selects were inserted into US High Series packs at a rate of 1 in 12 packs. Gotta like the low pop Gretzky inserts. From 1994 Tops Finest, we have the Patrick Wall Refractor with coating in raw condition sold at auction for $62. 
So the pop of this refractor with coating, it's a PSA mint pop of only eight. And there's only one gem mint 10. Refractors for 94 finest insert a one in 12 packs. From 1994 Pinnacle, we have the Mark Messier and Wayne Gretzky team Pinnacle insert. This here is with the Dufex front, which is the Gretzky side, graded mint PSA 9. That was the best offer sale for $100. Another low pop Gretzky insert here with Mark Messier for, as a bonus. It's a pop of only five in a mint slab. And there's only four higher graded gem mint 10s. So best offer sale, 100 bucks. This exact card sold in November of 2021 for $90.09. Uh, so up 10%. There you go. So there's two copies. The Pinnacle did a Dufex front or a Dufex back. So the Dufex back one would have Messier with the Dufex copy. These were inserted one in 90 Series 1 US packs. So tough pull. From 1995 Upper Deck, we have the Shane Doan Star Rookie Card graded Gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $108.50. It's a pretty strong sale for this card. It's a pop of only nine in a gem mint slab. That one stood out to me. From 1995 tops, we have the Wayne Gretzky Profiles insert, graded gem mint PSA 10. That was a best offer sale for $73.04. I'm throwing lots of low pop Gretzky inserts at you this week. This one here is a gem mint slab pop of only eight. This exact copy of this card sold for $8.50 back in January of 2020. Whoever picked that up for eight bucks, that was a pretty good buy. Even 73 bucks, I think, is a good buy. These were inserted into series. So cards one to 10 of the profiles were inserted into series one packs at one in 12 packs. And then cards 11 to 12 were inserted into series two packs. So the series one profiles have a white border and series two profiles are all foil. Up next, from 1993 Top Stadium Club, we have the Wayne Gretzky Members Only Jumbo Master Photo Graded Gem in BGS 9.5. This card sold at auction for $56.55. No BGS pop report on Beckett's website for this one. Subgrades were 9.5 for centering corners and edges and a 9 for surface. Over at PSA, the Members Only is a pop 1. The only one graded is Gem Mint PSA 10, and you obviously got that if you get the members only sets. However, there are copies of these master photos that are non members only. Um, the non members only ones, there's been 17 graded with the highest being 10 Gem Mint 10s. So, for the non members only copies of these, uh, these were inserted, I believe, as box toppers, inserted one in per series one box. And you could also get them through a redemption they were inserted one in 24 series one packs and then you could send in the redemption and you get three master photos from 1991 arena draft picks we have the peter forsberg autograph card number 76 out of 667 in raw condition this sold at auction for 45 dollars and 63 cents there have been none of these graded with psa or at least the english versions there are two French versions that are graded with PSA. Those ones were numbered out of 333, I believe. Yep, 333. So the, the French ones that are graded, there's a PSA 6 and a near mint 7. The 91 Arena Draft Picks autographs, limited to 1,000 each. They were numbered out of 667 for the English version and 333 for the French version. Uh, those how many each player signed and they were randomly inserted into the sets with one autograph approximately every 10 sets or two per case from 1992 upper deck we have a roman hammerlick young guns rookie card graded gem in psa 10 that was a best offer sale for 70 dollars in a gem in slab it's a low pop of only 15 from 1991 score the national we have wayne gretzky graded gem in psa 10. this card sold at auction for 202 dollars and 51 cents and the gem mint slab is a low pop of only 16. from 1990 peachy we have a sergey fedorov red army rookie card insert graded gem in bgs 9.5 that was a best offer sale for 87 dollars and 10 cents it's a pop of 42 in a gem mint bgs slab and there are only five higher graded pristine tens this one is one subgrade one half a subgrade away from a pristine 
Look at these subgrades. 10 for centering, 10 for corners, 10 for edges, and a 9 for surface. These red army inserts were inserted one per pack of 1990 Opeachy. We're going to finish it up with a nice little binder here. This is a 1994 Upper Deck SP. You get the complete base set in the binder. In addition, you get a complete die cut parallel set in the binder as well. All 195 cards. Raw condition was a fixed price sale for $79.99. So you get two Jerome McGinley rookies here. One regular version, one die cut parallel. Nice copies of the die cut raw actually sell for around $15 or so. Um, and then you got Gretzky's and everything else in there as well. Base and die cut parallels. Uh, the die cut parallels for 94 SP were inserted one per pack. But it still take you a little bit of time to put together 190 or the complete 195 card set. All right, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cards were. Also, if you have a quick second, please hit that like button. Truly appreciate the support. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you.